Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I got a suggestion when I was testing the Realistic DX200 and trying to calibrate the dial uh, to see how, you know, how accurate it was versus the actual frequency of the signal. And someone suggested that I use my antenna analyzer as a source because I was having trouble with my signal generator. So we're going to try that right now. And I've got it set up in single mode, single frequency mode. And so it's putting out pulses on that given frequency. And right now it's set to 12 megahertz. So I've tuned the Texan PL680 to 12 megahertz. And let's see what happens. Okay, there's the uh, chain of pulses that the analyzer is putting out. I can turn the analyzer off and the pulses go away. Turn it back on. Select that mode again. And there they are. And it's tuned directly, it's tuned uh, to 12 megahertz. So let me detune the radio and see how, get some idea how wide that set of pulses is. So I'm going to move the microphone a little closer. Okay, I'm down to almost 11.9. Still getting the pulse. Not much difference. And I'm in narrow bandwidth. Still there. Eleven point eight. Still there. Pretty weak now. So it might be, it might be a couple of things. It might be the proximity of the uh, analyzer. Let me let me move it away as far as I can. I can't move it very far. Yeah, that's part of it. So let me move it way as far as I can on my table, which is about 15 inches from the radio. And I don't hear it. So now let's tune back up to 12. Eleven point seven. There's a station. <laughs> now I'm not using any external antenna, and the telescopic antenna is uh, collapsed. Eleven point eight. There it comes. I'm at 11.9, and I'm starting to hear the pulses. Now they're getting stronger. Now they're getting real strong. 11.98. There's 12 megahertz. So it looks like that's a viable way of doing it. Let me, uh, for grins, try a different frequency. Let's try eh, 4 megahertz. Okay, now I'm at 4 megahertz. I've got the analyzer close to the radio, and so it's coming in at 12 megahertz. Let me move the radio, I mean the the analyzer away from the radio. I'm still hearing it.
pretty pretty loud too so that signal coming out of the analyzer is pretty broadband and the signal I've got a hook to my vertical antenna is so strong that even with the telescopic antenna collapsed there's my finger on it it's still I can still hear the pulses now they're kind of weak so let's go to 4 megahertz and see how it sounds they're very strong there but I would I would probably you know if I'm trying to to check out that uh, DX200 I'd probably be struggling a little bit to use the analyzer as a signal generator. Now, I did find out, and I think I showed it in one of the shows after the initial testing of the DX200, um, that I, I found that I was using the wrong function on the analyzer causing um, some problems, and it appears that the output of the analyzer was kind of ragged until it had been on for a while. So let's turn the analyzer on. I'll turn the... I mean, I, when I said analyzer, I should say signal generator. I turn the signal generator on. I turn the analyzer off. And now I'm going to move this antenna over to the signal generator. Try to, if it'll reach. Plug it in. And... I just noticed, oh, it's on the wrong, wrong function. Okay, the uh, analyzer, I said it again, the signal generator is showing 10.014 megahertz. So let's try the radio and see what it's doing. Okay, we'll go to 10 megahertz. And I can't say that I hear anything. Matter of fact, it's pretty quiet. But I don't have an external antenna. Let me just put my finger on that antenna. And I'll tune it. There. There. That was a signal generator. And I saw it at 10.04. Let me just zoom in here for a second. So there is as 10.04. I put my finger on the antenna. It's it's gone now, so let me just barely tune it. Now it's not there. Whoop. Let's go to wideband. Yeah, there it is. Very narrow, too. Well, say it is. Yeah, it's pretty. It's, um, it was about 9.99 .9 to 10.06, where I could still hear it in that range. Try it again. Maybe a little, maybe up to 10.012. So, I think I, let me turn the volume, I'll turn this off. There was two problems apparently I had with my signal generator. One is, uh, it's a little ratty when it first turned on. It has to warm up a little bit. And there's a knob here for fine-tuning. And you can set the fine tuning to 0.15 and R to 15, and you have to push or pull the knob to select those two widths or scales, and then you use the turn the knob to fine tune the um, the frequency. So I was struggling because I couldn't get the knob to come out. I finally got it out by using a pair of pliers. So now I've got it in the lower resolution and I can 
tune it a little better. And so let's, uh, we turn the radio back on. And we'll tune it to 10 megahertz. There's that signal. About 10.03 right now. in the frequency generator, the signal generator, excuse me, is 10.014 on its scale. And so I'm going to select another frequency. I'm going to go kind of at the bottom end of this scale. So I'm going to go to another scale. Then I'm going to go up to you know, about 7.5. So I'm going to tune 7.5. 7500. And there it is. No, that wasn't it. There it is. Right in there. So that's about 7.512. And right now, which the signal generator is reading 7.521. Pretty close. So I think I uh, have solve the problem with my signal generator so now I can use it to check the calibration of the dial on the DX200. Um, I would not use this guy here, the antenna analyzer, because it puts out too broad a bandwidth on the pulses that it's putting out. So anyway, that's the show. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Bye-bye.